Professional Chunky Trooper, and welcome to another Black Ops Cold War video. Basically, I'm having a little rant, people. I haven't uploaded in a while because I've been a bit busy with work and things like that. But I tried to make a video for you guys once they were the street sweeper. And basically, the skill based matchmaking is f***ing me again. Right, and there's all these YouTubers popping up, which I took screenshots for you guys to see, clickbaiting the f*** out of people like me, OG players out there. These motherfuckers are clickbaiting the f*** out of me. Look at this, right? You got ears here. SBMM has been removed. Has it, bro? Right, it says in the description, skill-based matchmaking, brackets, SBMM, has been removed from Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, question mark. My thoughts and whatever, Treyarch, or... Bro, I watched the video, yeah? I generally watched the video after I took this screenshot. And just because the geezer got a couple nukes in the video, he seems to think skill-based matchmaking has been removed. Stupid. And I'm just clearly saying, bro, don't click by the f*** out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a couple of you people's doing it. Like, don't click by the f*** out of it. There's me here in my seat like a kid at Christmas when I see videos like this. Like, oh, 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 shit, my man, what the f***? Stop screaming, stop. No, it hasn't, bro. Like, you're just taking me for a fool. And then here's another one. Chain feeds. Cold War. Removed SBMM. No, they didn't chain feeds. Why life? Uh... In the description, it says Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War removed SBMM. Multiplayer gameplay. I play on PlayStation. It doesn't matter, Jabroni. We know that you reverse boost. You've just came out of your reverse boost. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it, bro? But now don't clickbait me into thinking SBMM's been removed. Because it hasn't. When you see this street sweeper video I got coming for you guys, yeah? You're gonna be like, what the f? All I'm doing is getting bow, 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 bow. All the time, I'm getting slapped. Literally every single lobby I go into, pow, pow, pow. Just getting fucked up everywhere. Let me just read this other one to you guys as well. There's one more here, and it's from It's Nick. They finally removed skill based matchmaking in Cold War. Huh? They didn't remove it. They're not gonna remove it. Bro, listen, everyone's boycotting the battle pass and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the sales were low, which <laughs> I'm so happy about. Not that I want Cold War to fail. Because I don't, I just want skill-based matchmaking addressed or removed from the game. It's, it's still there. It's not gonna be removed. Like, skill-based matchmaking will not be removed. It's gonna stay in Call of Duty. Like, there's a couple of games I have, yeah, where I'm doing good and blah, blah, blah. I'm slapping people. And then, after that, five games, whatever, after, I'm getting beasted. Like, I'm playing up against Scump and people like that. I'm not realistically, but speaking, it feels like I'm playing against, like, the world's highest players. What the f***, bro? I didn't spend 60 whatever pounds, but actually more, because I was paid extra for the other copies. So I paid more money to get the PlayStation 5 copy and the PS4 copy as well. Do it! Donut, you're so stupid. Just to get butt by skill-based matchmaking, because Activision don't want to remove it. But uh, bro, what the f are you doing, man? You wonder why your sales are down. Like you wonder why your sales are down compared to Modern Warfare. Right, bro. When Modern Warfare came out, it, it made I think like I think I swear it was like 600 million sales. Or something. But it took Black Ops Cold War six weeks to make just over that with... At, that's with the Cold War integration as well. No, um, the Warzone integration as well. Bruv! Oh my f***ing god. You're failing your game. You're failing your community. Bro, we're all just going to drift off and play something different. Something else is bound to come up. Do you know what I mean? We're now in next generation of gaming. Do you know what I mean? There's going to be a ton more of games coming out. Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and potentially we're going to be having Sledgehammer Games developing this year's one. Bro, just have a break. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Do what EA and Dice done and have a flipping break. Fix your game. Like, don't keep constantly year after year. Game, 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 game. Throwing games at us. Bro, we want a polished game. Without skill-based matchmaking, listen to us people, yeah? Listen to us. Because you're not. You're just doing what Activision wants you to do. You know, you're big bucks in your pockets. You don't give a f*** about us now. 
So why should we then care about the game that you're putting out then, Treyarch? And Activision. Mainly aimed at Activision, actually, because you're the big dog up here, yeah? You're calling all the shots. Why, as a community, should we now spend money upon your game getting all these cosmetic, cosmetic items and this and that and rah, rah, rah? No, bro, like, listen to us, and then we could spend some money on your game. Hallelujah. Like back in the day in Black Ops 2, I always refer to Black Ops 2 because it is the best Call of Duty of all time. Trust me. If none of you ever played Black Ops 2, you're missing it. You're 100% missing it. But, yeah, in Black Ops 2, there was... Well, I wouldn't say there was skill-based matching, but I was a god in that game. Like, I was a god. Like, not saying I'm not now, but, you know, skill-based matchmaking didn't f**k me as much back then. Like, I used to pull 100, like, get 100 kill games and back in Black Ops 2. Cold War, bruv. No, you're struggling to get a 10 kill game. If you want to get a positive KD, you got to sit in a f**king corner. What? Where's the logic in that? You're spending $60, £60, pounds, whatever the f**k, whatever country you're in, yeah, to sit in a corner in a video game. If you move out of that corner... You're going to get battered. Look, take a couple clips here, yeah, from me trying to unlock the street sweeper. Look at this. I get absolutely slapped. See? See what I mean? In them clips, I got absolutely battered due to SBMM. M. I swear I said two M's M. Maybe not. Not sure. But hey ho. It, it's, it's a joke, man. Like, I've been ranting for seven minutes about SBMM. I haven't done a video about this like a few weeks ago. But I'm finding it hard to make content on this game because I'm getting matched up against top tier players. What? No, match me up against... Just go by connection, how you used to. Don't go by skill and how your score per minute is and whether you jump around the corner, slide around the corner, walk around the corner, pull around the corner, whatever you do, don't go by that. Go by how my connection is, bro. How it used to be back in the day. Like, if you had good connection, you're getting matched up with some f***ing stains. 100%. Jesus, I think I want to be ranting on about Cold War. I honestly thought I was going to have a year filled with happiness and amazing gameplays and decent DLC, decent maps. But no, this year is the same as the last year. The f***. You need to chill out on releasing the games, Treyarch, like year after, not Treyarch, sorry, Activision, year after year after year after year. Bro, like, let your developers have a little break. Let, let Infinity Ward and Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, Raven, everyone you got going for you, let them have a little break, man. Like, they're, they're just trying to rush the games. Like, they're not finishing the games anymore. You're just... Forcing them to push out games, unfinished games, may I add. Yeah. And then you're getting them to rush and build another one for the year after. But, dude, you're gonna fucking ruin your game. You've been going for years. Call of Duty has been going for a very, very long time. And I feel that you're slowly killing off your game. People are gonna go and venture out to different things. It is. The year 2021 people all right there's gonna be a hell of a lot more games coming on next gen it's gonna be mad all right weird the 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 technology these days is just developing faster and faster games are getting better and better unfortunately call of duty is not it seems to be getting worse and worse as the years go on like every year that passes uh you, all right every year that passes it's pants all right Man, I didn't want to do this video, but you know, I'm trying to figure out what to do 
I'll be getting a Street Sweeper video out very soon for you guys. So just keep an eye out for that. If you are new around here and you ain't subscribed already, then make sure you click that subscribe button. And just while you're down there, hit that um, like button as well. Just so I know that you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, people, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Love you all. Sweet.